Hey bud, what's up? Sarah here, the Chronic Crafter, and today I'm going to be showing you the magical butter machine. It's this awesome little appliance that helps you turn cannabis into oil, butter, tinctures easily and quickly. First, I'm just going to show you an overview of the machine, then we're going to jump into me making my first batch of cannabis oil, and I'm going to tell you some positives, some negatives, what I love, what I don't love about the magical butter machine. So here's the machine. As you can see on the lid, there's all the buttons that give all the different temperature settings and time cycles. These buttons make it super easy to program whatever you want to make. With the machine, you also get a silicone glove and a strainer, which are awesome for taking all the plant matter out of your butter or oil at the end. And it also came with an instruction manual, obviously most things do, and a cookbook as well. All right, now that we've covered the basics of the machine, I'm gonna show you how I made my first batch of coconut oil. The first step was to decarb my weed. I did this by putting it in the oven in a little aluminum foil packet. Magical Butter does sell a silicone tray for decarbing your cannabis, but I don't have this yet. While your cannabis is decarbing, you can measure out your coconut oil. The Magical Butter machine will make between two to five cups. I decided to go with two cups because I wanted my cannabis oil to be a little bit more potent. When you're putting your coconut oil or butter into the machine, make sure it is softened because the machine does mix it up so you don't want it to be like a big hard clump or else it'll be really hard on the motor or you might hurt the blade inside. The next step is to dump the weed in the machine with the coconut oil. Then all I have to do is put the lid on the machine and then hit a button and it's done. The machine literally does all the work from here. It will grind up your weed, it will stir it up, it will heat it. All you have to do is just walk away and maybe smoke a joint. I forgot that I even had the machine on, except for every once in a while inside the machine it would grind up the cannabis, but it was pretty quiet. I would say it's even quieter than like a coffee grinder. This cycle took two hours to complete. The machine beeped to let me know it was done. All I had to do then was take off the lid and look at the beautiful oil inside. Then I just dumped what was in the machine through the strainer. I just gave it a good squeeze with my silicone glove and then there we had it. Beautiful green coconut oil. There was no plant matter in the oil. It was so clear and green and beautiful. I loved using the Magical Butter Machine. It was easy to use, it was quick, it did like basically everything for me, it was precise, and there are like so many different things that you can make using this machine. It's kind of mind blowing. Also, there was like no smell while I was using the Magical Butter Machine. I was kind of expecting like a little bit of smell, but no, nothing. I've been using a crock pot for years to make my own cannabis oil and butter. And while the crock pot does the trick, it definitely has some drawbacks, mainly around temperature settings. My crock pot doesn't give an actual temperature of what it's at. It's just like high, low, and keep warm. So you never know exactly how consistent the temperature is. I mean, I guess you could put a thermometer in it, but it doesn't matter because you can't really change it anyways. Another drawback is if you live in an apartment or a townhouse or just don't want the smell of cannabis radiating throughout your entire house, making butter with a crop pot stinks in a good way. I mean, if you enjoy the smell of cannabis, which I'm assuming you do. For me, this isn't a big deal, but for other people, you might not want your entire house smelling like cannabis while you're making some butter. The only thing that I can say that I don't really like about the Magical Butter Machine is that when you're cleaning it, you have to be very careful to not get any water on the outside of the machine. The Magical Butter Machine has a cleaning cycle, so you just put some water inside, a little bit of soap, and turn it on the clean button, and then it stirs it all up and helps clean it. You just have to be very careful when you're putting water inside or taking water out. If you want to make your own edibles, your own salves, your own tinctures, I highly recommend you grab the Magical Butter Machine. If you use the code Chronic Crafter, that will save you 20% off. Alright, that's all for this video. Thanks for joining me. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.